Hello all, in this video we'll take a look at cutting out complex objects with Affinity Photo. OK, first things first, let's start by opening our image. Menu, File and Open. And after just a second, there we go. We have a nice picture of a big sexy muscle car. Now what I would like to do is to extract the bodywork from the rest of the car. Once extracted, I can change the colour of the paintwork without affecting the rest of the car, such as the windows and the wheels and lights, etc. OK, let's get started. The first thing I do at this point is to save my project. A very important step. File, Save As, and I'm already in the correct folder. So I just need to type in the file name. I'm going to call it Muscle Car Cut Out. Muscle Car Cut Out. And then just hit save to save the project. I always save the project at the start. So from now on, all I have to do is press Ctrl and S for a quick save at any point during the development. Right, before I perform the first cutout, I'm going to duplicate or make a copy of my image so that I have a spare for reference and for safety. Right click background and select duplicate. And now we have a safe copy of the background just in case we make mistakes or just want to look at it later on. The first thing we're going to do is to extract the whole of the bodywork without the wheels as one complete object. Once we have the bodywork extracted, we can then cut out and get rid of the parts we don't need until we're left with just the paintwork. We could use the selection tools to perform cutouts, but they're just not as flexible as using the pen tool. The pen tool will allow me to make adjustments to my curves later on if I need to, in case I've made a mistake or something. Let's start by selecting the pen tool and then make sure our settings are correct. Up in the options here, fill and stroke don't really matter. And also nothing for the line width. Mode, just standard pen mode is what I choose here because I'd like to keep things nice and simple. Convert to none set, action none set. Snap, turn off all snapping. Having it try to snap while we cut out would just be annoying. Snap on curved nodes, off. And use fill, off. And that's our pen tool all set up and ready to go. Now we can make a start on cutting out. OK, let's get on with it. As I want to cut out all of this bodywork, I'm going to start in this left hand corner here. I'll just zoom in using control and the mouse wheel. Then just place my first point here and start placing points around the bodywork. Like so. Following the edge of our shape and I space the points to match the curves, like so. Now, if you find that looking at it, your curve is not how you would like it to be, then you can just hold control and select a point and move it about, like so. Or if you need to add an extra point, you can just hold down control, select a point within the line, and hit the left mouse button to add a point. And also, of course, you can now move that point. And if you find that you need to delete a point, then you can just select the point and hit delete. So while you're editing, you have complete control over your points. To continue, just select the last point and just continue on creating our curve. I'm not too happy with this bit, so I'm going to add another point here. And then holding control, I'm going to tweak these points until they are exactly how I'd like them. It does take a little practice and time, but there we go. That looks fine. Now I want to move to another portion of the car, so while zoomed in, I press space and just drag to pan. Now I'll carry on. Always make sure your last point is selected. So you can continue from your last point around your shape. OK, now I'm going to continue around the whole of the car, like so. 
and this is a long-winded and boring process so I'm going to speed up the video. And here you can see I made a mistake. I've gone down the bodywork when I actually wanted to go across the fin. So to fix this, I'll press Ctrl and Z twice to go back a couple and then carry on in the right direction across the fin. And here we are coming back to the first point, having been around the whole of the bodywork. Just click on the first point to create the shape. And there we have it. We've successfully used the pen tool to create the shape of the bodywork. Excellent. Right, at this point I'm going to press Ctrl and S to do a quick save. It really is a good idea to save frequently. It only takes a second, but really could save you hours. Accidents do happen. Now, you may have noticed that under this wheel arch, here, I actually went across the tire rather than around the arch. That's because there is actually some red in the shadows under the wheel arch. So I just wanted to make sure that I captured that because I think it will make a difference when we come to recolor the car. Under this wheel arch, it really didn't matter because it's all just black. So there's really no colour to save. There we go. Overall, I think we've done a pretty good job on this. We have a really nice curve for our bodywork. Alright, so let's just name our curve. I think we'll just call this Main Body Curve. There we have it. Now I'm just going to make a copy. Right click on the curve and then select duplicate. Then I'm going to just move this copy right underneath everything else. And that's there as a backup just in case I make a mistake. So I won't have to go through the process of cutting out the whole of the body again. Very good. Okay then, so now we have our body curve created. We now just select this top curve not the one we saved for backup and then just hit selection and bingo it's turned the curve into a lovely selection but we still have our original curve here just in case we make a mistake or need to make changes later on in the project which we probably won't so at this stage you may wish to soften the edges of your selection so that they don't appear too harsh when you cut and paste them into other images for instance. To do this we go to select and feather and then type in a value. I normally do a value of between 2 and 8 pixels but for this case I'm just going to type 2 as it's not going to move so it doesn't matter that much. This will be a different value depending on your situation really. So now we have our selection and the curve layer is gone and Affinity Photo has automatically selected the next layer down. It just automatically selects the next layer down for us. All we have to do now is right click on this active layer, the layer we want to cut from and then select copy. And right click on the layer again and select paste. And now we have a new layer with our bodywork cut out, ready for us to do further editing. Let's take a look, we'll just turn these off and we can see we have the main body cut out on its own layer. Okay then, now we don't need the selection anymore, so we just 
click this icon to get rid of the marching ants and deselect. The next stage is to individually cut out all of the various parts of the body that we don't want. These parts here, the windshield and everything else. Because we don't want to recolour them, but we will leave in these white areas. As being white, they won't be affected by the recolouring. OK, let's make a start on cutting out all of these unwanted various parts. First of all, make sure that the main bodywork that we have cut out is selected. Make sure that we're on the pen tool. And as I like to start with the big parts, we'll go to the windshield and separate the windshield from the paintwork. This black area seems to be a nice separator, so I'll start here inside the windshield and make my way around it until I come back to the start. I think this will need speedy vision. Here we are, coming back to the start and create the curve. Control zero to take a look. And I think that is a pretty good selection. Then of course, the next thing to do is to convert this curve into a selection. So just hit selection. As you can see, we have the marching ants indicating the selection and automatically the layer containing our body is selected. All we do now is press delete to cut out the windscreen from the body. Here we go, delete, and there we have it. We have a nice hole in the body where the windscreen used to be. I think that's a pretty good job. So let's just deselect and take a look at our work. Right, for demonstration purposes, we'll just do one more part. Select our body layer. Then make sure our pen tool is selected. Everything's ready to go. So we're ready to zoom in and cut out this window here. And here we go. Around the window, I think speedy vision is the order of the day here. And here we go, the final link. OK, that's that one done. Take a quick look. That's pretty good, so I think we'll convert to a selection. Yep, I like that selection very much. And press delete. That looks pretty good. Just deselect. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, you didn't need to see me cut out everything, that would be really boring, so here it is, the finished job with all of the parts removed. And now we're left with just the paintwork. Let's have a look. If we turn on our background, you can see that we've got most of the paintwork. The only thing is, I've noticed that we've cut off half the fin. Here, we haven't included this bit of fin, even though it's through the window, I think we should. So the next stage is to bring back that little bit of fin. Let's just turn the background off for now and take a look at it. To bring back missing bits, it's quite simple. All we do is turn back on our background, make sure we have our background selected, make sure we have no selections active because we don't want anything to interfere. I'll just zoom in a little bit, make sure I'm on my pen tool, and just select the missing parts of the fin that we can see through the window. Not quite getting it, I think I'll need to just zoom in a little bit more and continue tracing the fin the best I can, even though it's quite hard to see through this rainy window. I think I've got the shape about right. And there we have a curve for our fin. Hit select to turn it into a selection. Right click on the background and select copy. Right click again and select paste. There's our fin. If we turn the background off, we can see we have our fin and body. Then all we have to do is select our body, just deselect. Right click on our main cutout body and select merge down. 
and that will merge the body into the fin. So there it is, we've added the fin back in. And I think that looks pretty good. So here we have all our cutting out done. We have a very nice cut out car body. So let's have a play with it. Let's change the color of the car. First of all, just select our view tool so that I'm not drawing points all over the screen. Then just right click on our cut out car body and select group. Once we have it in a group, we can select our cutout body layer. Now any adjustments we add will only affect our cutout car body and not the underlying layers because it's in a group. To change the colour, we'll select Adjustments and choose HSL. And by using the Hue Shift slider, we can change the colour. We'll have a little look, but I think I want a nice green. So, there we go. A really nice, pretty green car body. And it didn't affect the whites. And I think it needs to be darkened a little bit. So we'll select Adjustments and choose the black and white adjustment. Now if I select green and bring it down, it will make the green darker. But I don't want it to be black and white, so I just bring down the opacity to something I like. And there we have it, pretty nice. A really nice rich dark green. I think I'll just add a little bit of clarity. This will help to enhance the raindrops and the little details on the body. Uh, adjustments, no, not adjustments, filters, clarity filter, and then up the clarity like so. I think about there looks pretty effective. The raindrops are now enhanced. That looks really nice. Let's just close our group. Looking good. Now let's take a look at it on the background. Et voila! We now have a green car. And if we just hide the group, like so, we can see the original colour. There's our original red, which is very nice. But now, through our cutting out and adjustments, we have a very lovely, deep, British racing green type colour. I think that's excellent. And that is how to do complex cutouts with Affinity Photo.